All right, hi you guys. So today is chit chat hump day. Um, so hopefully everybody is having so far a beautiful day on Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Thank goodness. <laughs> but today is my day off. And um, so just some updates on my end. Um, I made the uh, cash wallet, uh, cash envelopes. I haven't filled them up just yet. Um, I do get paid on Friday. Well, I get paid tomorrow. I get paid on Thursday, one day early because of my bank. Um, but I thought it was kind of hard because I'm starting mid month, obviously, right? So I'm basing it off like base uh February fifteenth through the end, and I'm like, well, I can write everything down and just be half of the amount. So that's what I plan on doing. So really quick, <clears throat> as you guys know, this is the wallet I bought off of Amazon. It's pink and navy, which is pretty cute. And here we go. So here goes my envelopes. Now I'm gonna uh, show you guys. I made some more. Because as I was thinking about it, and I was like, wait, there are some other, you know, things I can do. Other things I can do, like categories. So this one is groceries, right? And as you guys can see, it's going to be 150 per, I don't think it's going to focus on that, per check. Okay? I have never, ever monitored my spending for anything really um so this is going to be different so i'm going to start off with 150 per paycheck so it's every two weeks see how that works out so obviously i wrote this down in pencil so this amount right here can change like next month if i feel like this is my first time trying it out so it can it can change the next one here is for outings and what i did on the back of this one i put this it says weekly expenses but um i don't i'm planning on probably put, putting some washies down here um because it's not going to be based off of the week itself but i would like to so this is twenty dollars per month and this tells me that it's for savings um you know, like, if me and my son wants to take, like, a little trip um, somewhere, this is what this would be used for. So, this is going to be a savings one, okay? So, those are two down, and that's $20 a month. This one is $50 per month, and it's for fun. So, this will be, like, for the movies, uh, what other stuff? Yeah, just fun stuff for me and my son like movies if you want to go to like um a trampoline park ice skating skating that's what that fun one is for now i do have this one for laundry twenty dollars per month now i did this one for laundry not the fact that i overspend on laundry but i always have to take out cash anyways from the atm so why not just have it on on hand that's what my whole thinking is and this one will cover me for um you know doing the laundry so uh, getting my quarters so i can do it at the machines and also buying the laundry detergent which i have a whole bunch of laundry detergent but that's what that will be for this one is food out and as you guys can see, it's $50 per month. Um, do I see over over exceeding this? No, because if me and my son do right, we should be good. So with groceries and, you know, buying lists and just, you know, making food that lasts. Um, I just have to do better. And then this one is for... Oh, sorry. This is a new one. Household um, house items. And it's going to be $20 per month. So this would be like toilet tree, uh, like for toilet trees. Um, 
yeah like toiletries um what else um toothpaste and stuff like that that amount may have to go up i'm thinking but we'll see as i said i'm just starting this so i have to figure these things out and as i stated these things are um are you know in pencil so i can change them but that's what i plan on doing for the rest of february um i will i did want to withdraw the cash out yesterday because i do have cash or money in my bank account left over from last month of like over like four hundred dollars left over from last month um but i didn't even touch it and some uh most of my credit cards are paid up in advance so like i'm like a month ahead already so but what i plan on doing to pay down my debt is to pay more to my credit card so you guys know with my income tax when i did get it um two credit cards were paid off um so that's good um, I have this here. Now I'm going to take away my income because I don't want to put that out there, you know. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out. I wish I, yeah, I'll take it out. And let me just go over this with you guys. So, Oh, and there's this other one. So, <laughs> my savings goal is $150 per month, $75 per paycheck. Now, this amount should be going up, and the reason why I say that is because we got our our bonus, not our bonuses, but our raises um, starting to be included in our checks, and I know how much of a difference it is per year. So, I plan on, you know, calculating how much extra that is per check and increasing my monthly savings by that amount. Jamez, hold on. You tied in? Class is going? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be my savings jar or savings goal. And what I plan on doing is putting a sticker in here. Now, obviously, January has already passed. But each time I get paid and I put something away, my $75 away, or if this amount changes, I'll just put two, a sticker for each $75 under that month, okay? And if I do put in extra... Like, for my own savings, I'll put that in there. But I don't plan on putting anything extra in there for my savings. So, this is um, <clears throat> my... Okay, let me start over here. Sorry. So, this one starts off with housing. So, I have my rent. I don't pay anything for my cell phone bill right now for me. My son's cell phone bill. I'm actually ahead. Um, electricity... I'm putting, this is like a, it's the same amount every single month, y'all. Um, gas. Um, water. Now, the gas one, that one varies, so I thought originally it would be like 60 obviously it's $102. Um, water and sewer. Okay, hold on. So, water and sewer is included in my rent. <clears throat> so, I don't know why I put that down there. Like, my rent is seven thirteen, I think, per month. And then, when we pay our bill, it's all included. So, I'm not going to put that down there anymore. Sorry. And then, of course, I have cable. Um, which, that did go up. Like... Yeah, so that did go up by a couple dollars, so it will start to be 114 versus 112 like before, and then I have my Netflix right down there. Um, this one is for gas for the car. Now, I work from home, so $60 is not too bad for me. I probably don't even spend $60 per month, to be honest, seeing that it's based on what I do that month, like getting out the house-wise, okay? Um, what other ones? 
So for groceries, $300 per month I would like to save and dining out $50 per month. I just let myself know, hey, this is the first time doing this starting as of February 11th. So this is what I'm basing it off of. Um, what other ones do we have here? <clears throat> Medical. Um, my son does have a... Um, I think this thing is going to be backwards for y'all for some reason. Yeah, probably will be. Um, I should probably go like... I don't know how I should do it. Um, so medical, my son's um, ER bill, which I'm paying down a hundred dollars per month. It will be done in um, it will be done in April. I have what hair and nails, which is like sixty dollars per month. Now this comes out of my own allowance. I get like a hundred dollars per month, fifty dollars for paycheck. So this comes out of mine. Um, the gym for Crunch Gym is $9.95, and then laundry, $20. Um, the next one is for movies, so I put $50, and outings is $20. Um, moving down here, my credit cards. So, I put my Discovery credit card, I want to put $300 per that. Per month but I plan on putting like 500 like the minimum plus additional 300 so I should put that up to 500 my capital one credit card the small one um, I put 150 I shouldn't even do that to be honest because that amount is just for my cable and gym so that amount should come from there but I still put it down anyways um, to let myself know, hey, there's going to be $150, around $150 payment to pay off the bill because of two bills that come out of that credit card. And then I have this big credit card here for Capital One, plan on paying $300 per month. Um, like my minimum payments are like $35, so I'm paying it down, um, you guys. And then my Walmart credit card, so when I go, if I go grocery shopping, and I use my credit card for Walmart because that one is paid off almost. Well, it was paid off and then I used it again. Um, yeah. And then I have two different donations, $50 a piece. And then this one says miscellaneous for um, my allowance is $100 per month. Which I just put 50 because for this month, for the rest of the, the half of the month, it's just 50. And then Jamez's allowance is 50, which he already has is 50. That's the projected amount. So, um, now this other thing I did do was actually write down my bills. Okay. And what I did here was I wrote down. All of my bills and when they're due, which I've never done before, I was kind of like, you know, oh, I know this is coming out soon. I'll just have the money in my account. But it's nice to have it written down. So, so I have everything written down here, okay? Um, so, and I put down here where these things are deducted from. So, like I was telling you, my Comcast and my Crunch... It comes from my small Capital One credit card. Um, my Netflix comes from my big Capital One credit card. What is these ones? Oh, the gas and the electric. It comes from my Capital One 360. Um, and then the rest of these, um, like my Discover credit card, all my credit card bills plus my uh donations and my my son's er bill comes up um are all taken out from my uh capital one account uh my regular capital one account and i have all the dates written down now this is not the actual amount this is what everything comes up to but thinking about it you figure like my credit my small credit card and safe worth well i sh 
Hmm. Yeah, so say for like my small credit card, these two things right here, I have added up. So I don't know why I'm putting that down here. So I shouldn't include I shouldn't include this in this balance because I'm putting it up here already about what things are due. I still put it down here though, I guess, to let myself know this is coming out of this account on this day. Um so I shouldn't I just shouldn't include it in this balance. Um Yeah. So anything like on my credit cards and like Netflix, even though it is a an expense, what I shouldn't do is say paid next to it. That's what I shouldn't do. I shouldn't say paid next to it, seeing that it's coming out of my credit card bill itself. But oh well. So, but this is what I have. Now I know exactly when things are deducted from my accounts, from my various accounts, especially my, this one, because... Well, these two, because these come from my checking accounts, and you do have to make sure you have funds available. So, yeah. Um, now, that's that. Uh, so, I'm kind of excited to, you know, do my cash envelopes. As I said, I still have some money left over from previous, the previous, um, the previous, what do I want to say? Sorry, um, my previous paycheck, and I do have enough to do my cash envelopes, which is I think three hundred. It's like three hundred and ten dollars, but I haven't pulled it just yet, you guys. Um, I'm gonna wait on that uh, for right now. My son is wanting a. Um, a, one of these as well so he can budget his money so I do plan on buying him one we went to the store yesterday um and they were like I was kind of rushing so we're gonna go today after he's done with his math class that he's signed in for right now but it's just nice to know when things are actually deducted and seen on uh, paper um my workout I do have a workout um, part of my journal or planner. I haven't even used it just yet, you guys, to be honest. Um, update. Quick update. <clears throat> Sorry. This is not right. It should be in the front, I believe. Yes. So I'm just trying to put my stuff back in here. Um... Yeah, this is how it goes. So, um, what I was going to say. Oh, I was doing this giveaway. And I haven't had anybody. Now, I will say this. It's on one of the previous videos. I did not even title it giveaway. Because I wanted to see who was watching my stuff to the end. Like the videos to the end. My son's, because I was kind of doing the cutoff time for the video at, um, for the giveaway this Saturday. So, I uploaded, I wanted to do it roughly around, like, a week time. I don't like for the giveaways to be too, too long. Um, but I didn't title it giveaway. Because I just wanted to see who's watching my videos and who's watching it to the end. So, so far, I haven't had any entries, y'all. So, I'm just letting y'all know. If y'all are interested in that planner... Um, you get, you guys may want to watch the previous videos to the end, but, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to update you guys. Oh yeah, I haven't did anything with my <clears throat> fitness just yet. It can log my, my working out and my like eating what I've ate for the day, my water intake. I haven't even done any of that yet. Kickboxing is over. I did miss my last two classes, which I'm upset about, but at the same time, I'm like, whatever. Um, my aunt flow came on, <laughs> so I was just like tired for one, and my sleeping hasn't been the best. Like, I go to sleep at six o'clock in the morning, 
And then I want to wake up at, what, 8.30 to go to the kickboxing class. So I haven't even done that. I just got to get my sleeping back on track where I don't have to take my sleeping um, meds to get to sleep on time. So that's one thing. Um, what other thing I wanted to update you guys on? So I was debating on what I wanted to do for kickboxing. If I wanted to purchase it on my own, like... It's sixty. It's like seventy dollars a month, you guys, and it's a twelve year, a twelve month commitment. And if I don't want to do a commitment, it is more money. So, I don't know. Um, my Crunch Gym does have like you know boxing, but like the punching bags, so I can do stuff there if I wanted to. But I do have to get back into the gym. Um, but you know when your aunt flow comes on, it's just like whatever <laughs> so i just been monitoring my eating for the most part so all right so i'll catch you guys later this is for chit chat monday it was more or less about my um planning how that's going for my um bills i'm really happy about that really really happy so i'll catch y'all later all right bye